Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So I'm going to be making a lasagna. I make this all the time. A lot of people think that it's complicated, it's too much trouble. It's really not. It's one of the easiest recipes you could possibly make. So I'm going to make a mini lasagna. So the reason why I'm making this, it's actually almost 10 o'clock at night. Saturday night, 10 o'clock. I'm going to make this lasagna and I'm going to upload this video tonight. So the reason why I'm making this is there's two co-workers. I have two dear friends at work that go out of their way to make my life better at work. And every chance I get, I do a little something special for them also. So they highly request things that I make, like cookies, brownies. So I'm, when I mention lasagna, their eyes lit up. So I'm going to make this lasagna a very simple, very small version of the big version, but let's get started. Okay, so I have all my ingredients. You're just going to need some basic lasagna noodles. And my lasagna is going to be a five cheese lasagna. And here are the cheeses that I'm using. And basically you just need the sauce. Of course, you can use a store-bought sauce. No problem with that. Um, you're going to need some Parmesan cheese, for sure, ricotta cheese. Pick your cheeses of choice to put in the lasagna. You're just going to need some mushrooms. I already have my mushrooms cut up um, over there. Um, some garlic, onions, and that is about it. If you guys want to put meat in your lasagna, feel free to do that. Most people do. I get that. If you are a vegetarian, feel free to use those. What are they called? Um, I forgot what they're called. Morningstar crumbles. Those are amazing. But I'm going to make my sauce a little bit chunky with mushrooms. So I'm going to add a lot of mushrooms, a lot of garlic, a lot of onions. And it's going to be really, really cheesy, really saucy. You really won't miss the meat. So I no longer eat any beef, any pork. Um, the last thing, the last meat that I eat is sometimes chicken and fish. But that is very, very rare. So this is going to be a vegetarian lasagna. Um, everyone I work with is vegetarian. Nobody eats meat anymore. So this is going to be good. If you're not vegetarian, this is going to be good. But if you want to add meat, add meat to the sauce. So I'm going to get started. So my lasagna noodles are done. So even though the noodles are big, a lot of people are not sure, you know, that you need a huge pot. You really don't. So boil the water, put a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt, and just stand the noodles up straight. They will eventually all get soft and go into the pan like this. So my noodles are ready, and now on to the next step. Okay, so I have my mushrooms all chopped up. I like to chop them kind of small. I have my sauce ready. So now I'm just going to chop up my garlic and onions and try to add a little more mushrooms. I want the sauce really, really chunky. Okay, so my sauce is almost ready. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background, but I'm sauteing my garlic and onions on the stove in a little bit of olive oil. I like to saute them just a little bit before I add them to the sauce. But right now, I'm going to get my ricotta cheese ready, and I'm going to show you what I mean by get it ready. Okay, so to get your ricotta cheese ready so it's nice and spreadable, because right out of the container, it's not as easy to spread all over the noodles. You'll see what I mean. But how I prepare it, I use one egg, I use some Italian seasoning, and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to get this all mixed together, all mixed up, and I'll show you what it looks like. What the ricotta cheese looks like right out of the container. It's kind of stiff, but after I mix it up with the egg really good and get it, you know, really whisked together, it's going to be a little bit thinner and easier to spread on all the noodles. So this is what it looks like mixed with the egg. Do you see the consistency changed? So now I'm just going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese and some Italian seasoning for flavor. And here is what it's looking like so far. I just have to get it all mixed together. So now I'm going to start putting the lasagna together, just combining everything, and I'm going to start layering it. It's going to get a layer of ricotta cheese. It's going to get a layer of Parmesan. It's going to get a layer of all the other five cheeses. And it's going to get a layer of sauce, of course. 
So it's going to be a little lasagna, just a small pan. So I think I made too much. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's see how it goes. Okay, so since I'm making a small pan, I cut all the noodles to fit the exact size of the pan. So it'll fit evenly. So you might want to do that. It depends on, you know, what size your pan is. So here's my first layer. So I'm going to layer it with the ricotta cheese first then a little bit of sauce, and I'm going to add a little bit of the mixed cheeses, and I'm going to continue to do this until it's all built up. Okay, so I'm going to continue to do another layer. So I'm going to add another layer of noodles, add a little more of the ricotta cheese, add some sauce, add some spices, add some parmesan, and continue to do it as much as I can in this little small pan. This is probably going to be like a two-layer lasagna because I like to add a lot of cheese on top. So let's see how this is going to go. Alright, second layer done. Actually, I think I can get one more layer and still add a lot of cheese on top. Let's try. Alright, so now I'm going to add my last layer of cheese. I was able to put three layers on. So I had to lift the edges of the pan just so the cheese wouldn't like melt all over. But now I'm going to add the cheese and show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like turned out pretty good. So far, so good. So now I'm going to put it in the oven and show you guys how it turns out. And this is what it looks like. This is how it turned out. It turned out really, really good. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like inside. I don't want to cut this one because this one I'm taking to work so we can have it for lunch on Monday. But with all the leftovers that I had, all of the extra noodles, all the extra leftovers and cheese, I made a tiny mini lasagna. So I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. I made it identical to this one, but this one I just want to leave as it is. So it looks great when I take it to work on Monday. Let's take a look. 